Hey everybody, welcome back to Far One Channel with Battlefield Gothic Armada. It is the 41st millennia and we're in charge of spaceships and we're gonna go kick some rebel ass, so let's go. Just, I'm sorry, not much of an intro, but I'm just so excited, let's go. Woohoo! Admiral, the fleet has reached the last known position of the heretic ships. Their sedition must not stand. Okay. How shall we deploy our flagship? Oh, I get to uh, I get to pick how things go, eh? So um, deployment phase. So I'm guessing we have to go something there. Can I zoom out more? No. Okay. So um, so flagship. Why? Yeah. How about I say why is it? Oh, I thought it was faced the other direction there. Oh, it's gonna. I can't. Uh, it's telling me what I have to do right now. So I guess this is still the. Uh, now you must tutorial. select how you wish to deploy remaining ships of the line. Okay. Deploy the air. Now that your cruisers are deployed, you must next determine where to place the Firestorm escort vessels. Boom. Your new promotion has placed you in command of the entire fleet, Admiral. This that is... means you can order your captains to adopt engagement modes during the battle. Okay. These engagement modes define how your captains act in battle. You can change the engagement modes at any time. Admiral, the Firestorm escort ships have powerful prow weapons. I would advise setting these ships to a frontal attack. A good understanding of each ship's weapons is the best way to know which engagement mode to use. Okay. So these guys are good at broadsiding people, which is just like coming up next to them and just firing from the side, like drive-bys. And these little tiny guys, let me get close, these little tiny guys are good at, at shooting stuff forward. That's the prow, right? Okay. Alright. I can zoom in a bit too, so you can kind of take a look at Closer look at all our weapons. Those are our cannons. That's cool. That's cool. All right, select a ship. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's this stuff on the left. Okay, we got auto engage, broadside engage, frontal Macro engage. cannons on our ships are most effective when fired at short range. Okay, so select this ship. Oh. So there's boarding range, which is like up close and personal. There's short range, medium range, and long range. Now that we've deployed the fleet, it is time to root out these rebellious traitors. Okay, let's get started. Let's go kick some traitor ass. your movements. We will advance as one group at the same speed. Wow. Yes, Admiral. We will set course for a gas cloud. And use it to ambush the rebel ships. Once our ships enter the gas cloud, oh. it should mask our fleet's emissions. Underway. Okay, so clouds, gas clouds, I guess, is like basically cover where we can peek out, kick some traitor ass. Engines to maximum. Get over there, bitches. Cruising speed set. Okay. So what's all this other stuff? We got reload. Reduce cooldown of your skills. Okay. Lock on. That was the thing that made us more accurate. Brace for impact. Uh, oh, that's when you're getting fired upon. You can take less damage. Running silent. I guess that's for us to not be detected. You know how we saw like those little, little blips earlier? Uh, lightning strike, teleportation of an elite squad. Oh, so it's like we we the gas cloud beam conceals people over. our fleet, sir. We're invisible to the enemy ships. Excellent. The trap is set. Now we wait for our prey. Sir, I've detected an enemy vessel. Shall I engage? Wait until you have identified your target, Captain. I have a probe ready to launch, Admiral. Oh, we can launch probes. Don't you ship? tell us what we're looking at. Very well, Captain. Launch the probe. So, is this the probe? Choose where you want the probe to go. 
The probe will identify any nearby signals. I really wish I could zoom out more. Just so I can see like the whole battlefield, you know? So here's the probe. The green thingy is going towards the red thingy. I think we're the red thingy. All readings are confirmed. That ship belongs to the traitorous rebels. Now that we have identified the ship, our weapons cogitators can automatically target the enemy vessel. All ships, attack the enemy vessel. Kick his ass, he bass! Oh, I guess it's also showing the range in which they'll start engaging, too. See that? I think that's what those mean. Woohoo! So, Admiral Spire. Look at that guy. Did Ravensburg send you Look to at that guy. Look at those chins. He has like 30 there chins. Are other powers in the galaxy besides the Imperium. Oh, they can oh look at those hits. And Looks like it's just hitting his, uh... The shields, you kind you can kind of see that, right? Is anybody else got any like special on. abilities here? Look on the enemy's void shields are down, sir. I suggest that we concentrate fire on their plasma generator. Oh, do we get to pick parts? the plasma generator drains the ship's power. Oh! Using their warp oh, that's cool! I can kind of tell them to take out, like, just the weapons or some stuff. Sir. Their void shield capacitors are destroyed. Oh, oh, look at them! Oh, look at those explosions! Take out his engines. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere! I guess that's his health bar. We're hitting him so hard his shields ain't coming back. Oh, we also destroyed his shields too. Ship ready. Uh what do we wanna do? Lock on target! All ahead full. We'll catch up with him. That's a big ship too. That's bigger than our ships. Admiral. This is a battle we cannot win. Why? I'm oh! I'm taking my ship out of this mess. No, fuck you, come back. He is activating his warp engines and preparing to disengage from the battlefield. This cowardice cannot be tolerated. Admiral, we must put an end to this pitiful display and make an example of this craven fool. Click to execute. What do I click? Admiral Spire, this is Lieutenant Kraft. We've executed the captain and taken <laughs> oh my God. control of the ship. Well done, Kraft. You've been promoted to captain. Follow my orders and we'll get through this. As you command, Admiral. Yeah, I've heard of this. I heard that um, your uh, your crew can uh, uh, rebel against you. I guess that's a way to orders. prevent them from running away. I'm not sure... If all ships can do that, or all races can do that? Destroy his engines! At your command. Ah, he's still recharging. Oh, I got torpedoes? Oh, I should not have fired him. What, you? You don't got torpedoes. I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to get torpedoes on them. Oh, it's recharging. I'm not gonna be able to get torpedoes on in time. Why do you want to run? Because a small ship blew off? It's a small ship. We got two medium ships against one big ship. We can take that, this asshole. This is gonna be nothing. Oh! Oh, the they're trying to board us. Has activated its warp engines and is attempting to disengage. I have a strike team of navy armsmen ready to sabotage the enemy's warp engines. We must act quickly and use the ship's teleportarium to launch the attack. Yep, teleport them all. Destroy the engines. Your orders. Cancel warp failure. Ah, yeah, we did it. Oh, the cogitator's still on. 
Oh, I can't turn it off. Eh, it's still that kind of bullshit. I did that already. Fool! Your faith in the Emperor is as false as your courage! Oh, that's Silence so cool. Silence this heresy. Fire King's all ass. weapons! Pretty sure we, we have been firing all the weapons the whole time. Ship ready! Blow them up! We should keep our distance from the enemy ship, sir. It will soon explode. Okay, let's switch your the orders. distance. Walsh. Woo! You fought with valor this day, and proven yourselves worthy of the Imperial Navy. That was a big ship, though! Set course to leave the system. I must report our victory to Lord Admiral Ravensburg. Man, they talk a lot. <laughs> I feel like I don't got room to talk. Oh, that was awesome, though. Ooh, 97 points earned. Oh, what's that mean? Oh, we leveled up. Do we get to do anything when we level up? How's that work? You've exceeded my expectations, Admiral. Damn straight. However, other seditious forces are making themselves known in the Gothic sector. I would like you to meet Fabricator Cambrius. He is in charge of the Adeptus Mechanicus shipyard at Port Moore. Admiral, you and your fleet can repair and upgrade your vessels at Port Moore. By the Omnissiah, my tech priests stand ready to assist you. Your current rank allows you access to the most common classes of vessel. As you grow in renown throughout the Gothic sector, larger classifications of ships will become available. Okay. Follow me, Admiral Spire. I wish to show you the sacred shipyards of Port Moore. Okay. How do I do that? Oh! <laughs> Big arrow over there. Didn't even see it. Okay. Nope. I have reached rank two. Unlocked a new cruiser slot, and you want additional deployment per turn. Cool. Port I don't know what that means. is the largest and most sophisticated harbor in the segmentum. Here, you can see what services are available to you at your current rank, experience, and renown. There are several shipyards in operation at Port Moore. Follow me, Admiral, and I will lead you to the docking bay. It is time to show you what my shipyard can provide to meet the needs of your fleet. Okay. So, like This panel cruiser? displays the statistics of an individual vessel. Using this interface, you can see your ship's standard characteristics. The weapons of your ship are also displayed here. Pay close attention to the weapons information displayed here in order to better understand your ship's capabilities, oh, this panel here. displays the general attributes of your ship. Select the crew management panel to see more. Crew. Admiral, this is the crew of your ship. Every vessel has a particular captain and a specific set of crew. By focusing your attention on an individual crew member, the crew can improve their skills and benefit your ship. So this is like, uh... Ways. The captain of this ship has earned a promotion. This grants you access to better quality crew. You should start by improving the skills of your navigator. He will then be better able to guide your ship through the tides of the warp. Okay. So this is just our way of customizing each ship, I guess. In addition... Reconditioning will reset your crew abilities. Now, take a look at the ship's upgrades. You can install a new module on the light cruiser. Okay. okay well, tell me what this stuff does. I guess Different later. systems on each ship can be improved with modules and upgrades. Such systems include engines, decks, and weaponry. These okay. improvements are acquired by gaining renown during your missions. And oh, that's what these these points are. Void shield for your ship. You can install it now to improve the ship's shield rating. Okay, so more shields. Oh, oh well done, yeah. Admiral. Now, try installing a tech module on your ship. Tech the modules you can install improve different aspects of the ship. These aspects include defense, 
damage, control, support, recon, and maneuver. The number of modules that can be installed is limited by the ship's tonnage. Now, install the shield overload module. This will boost your shield's effectiveness for a short time during battle. Okay. I must Done. return to my communion with the machine spirits. Admiral, you should return to the sector map for your next assignment. No, I want to do stuff. Uh, no, I want to... Can I upgrade you guys? Yeah. What, your crew? Um... Does it say what this does? Oh, it does. Um... So loss in the warp means that like they die like instantly if I try to run away or something. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing commissars for boarding parties. Oh no, that's uh that's to prevent um mutiny. Tech priest is what fixing shit. Yep. Gunner. Ratings proves the true value of your ship by three points. And servitors reduces the cooldown time of all skills by 4%. I'm going to give this guy a better gunner. And... Uh, better weapons? Turbo weaponry? Armor piercing ammunition sounds awesome. Okay. Hull reinforcement. No one else hear that? There's something going on outside. Um, we'll give this guy better shit too. Stats, skills. Like, I think we did everything we can with these guys. All right, back to the sector. The Sector's High Strategic Council has met at Port Moore. The Council has a plan to secure the Gothic Sector against these invaders, and you play a key role, Admiral. Cool. I will contact you soon to brief you on your next assignment. What about now? What am I doing now? Oh, with a turn type deal. Okay. I wonder if this is going to come into effect later for, um, like maybe I have to choose between two or three planets to save or something like that because I see this whole like lost world type dealie over here but enter do we get a cutscene or something our supply lines are being raided by orc pirates Orcs. several reports indicate that the greenskins are harassing our forces keeping them off balance harassing admiral spy harassing Your orders are to escort an important imperial convoy of equipment and food to bladen this world is suffering from the predations of the pirates, and millions will starve if these supplies don't reach their destination. Cool. Okay, did the map just get a little bigger? Convoy. Missions in which valuable... Oh, uh, that's going to protect the transports. What's this? What's this? Each space station? I guess that's just the space station? Cool. All right, let's do this guy. The supply convoy is awaiting the arrival of your fleet to begin its journey. Many orc attacks have been reported on the trade route along your course. Escort the convoy through the system. Wait, how do we get one lost world? Threat. It is vital that this convoy makes it through to Bladen. You'll be in command of the convoy as it passes through the danger zone. The convoy <laughs> will be Jay safe Loggins. from the orc pirates once it reaches the edge of the system. Launch this shit. Right into the danger zone. <laughs> Orcs are like the most funny and hilarious creatures in this whole game. The Orcs plague the whole galaxy from end to end with their ceaseless warring and strife. <laughs> That's their ammunition is their guys. They are a warlike, crude, and highly guys. aggressive green-skinned Xenos race. Organized in a primitive and brutal See, society. See, they take the little guys and they put them in there. That's so ammo. deeply in war that peace is utterly incomprehensible. And they fancy themselves pirates with pirate ads and everything. Ships are often ill-kempt, unreliable rust buckets. 
kept in operation only by the constant effort of all <laughs> The guy's like really trying hard to push that lever slave. down. Orc pirate attacks are brutally direct. With their ships oh, rushing that's a human guy. towards their target. Guns about to get eaten by that big thing. They, come. they cannot be bargained with or bought. Save with weapons. Yeah, those little guys fancy themselves uh, try to bribe them. pirates themselves, eh? Orcs have a need for speed. Their Don't ships all? commonly mount a plethora of thrusters, boosters, and extra drives. Usually all wired up to a prominent red button in the cockpit. Oh, he pressed the button! Oh, that dude looks awesome. They look like... I love that these things see shanties. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh! They just slam into other ships, that's what they do? Okay. They look like a junk heap. From long experience, have I learned that underestimating the greenskins is a fast route to the grave. Okay. So let's go kick their ass. So we're gonna take our our two big ships. Um How many points do we have? Oh, I guess we just gotta fill up this 300, so let's see. Um, we got the Cobra Destroyer, which has torpedoes and melta torpedoes, which are good. Same with these guys. Is there a big difference? Hull's the same, speed's the same, rotation's the same, armor's the same. Oh, this guy has light macro turrets. I don't know what that means. Screw it, we'll get one of each. Um, oh, these guys got stuff too. Hold on, let's, let's go back. Let's, let's, I'm assuming the higher point value guys here are, um, are better. They have more turrets. These guys got torpedoes. Awesome torpedoes. Oh yeah, one of this guy. And one of this guy. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but here we go. We have reached the zone of space where the orc pirates are known to lurk. Stay alert for any enemy ships. Acknowledged. My convoy ships are packed to the brim with supplies. If we lose more than half these ships, our mission will fail and Bladen is doomed. If we split up the transport ships, we have a better chance of getting through the Orc pirate patrols. What is going on outside? I think someone's trying to sing, but they sound like a dying walrus. All right, so. We should split them up, eh? Where do we need to get to? That's where the pirates are deploying at. Is there like a thing? not gonna tell me, eh? So I guess we gotta get from one side of space to the other. Is there, is there a place we can hide stuff? Ooh, ooh, we got a big gla a gas cloud. We got two others over here. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna deploy our big ship. Here and our other big ship here. Our two small ships are gonna screen these guys who will hide here. Okay, here we go. Admiral, many enemy ships are converging on the convoy. These must be the orc pirates. What? The Greenskins don't understand strategy. The Orc ships oh. are likely to close in at short oh. range and rely on their tough front armor. Oh, there's at least three the or four. The also eager to fight. These savages will try to board our ships, and they won't hesitate to ram anything in their way. All ships, prepare for battle. Ship ready. Okay. 
Helm coordinates acknowledged. Changing course. Okay, that's what you guys are gonna do. Your orders? Orders received. You guys are gonna screen them. And we're gonna go do the Awaiting brunt of the orders. attacks. They're all converging. Orders received. All head full. Shit's starting to get serious. Oh! Losing speed set. Oh, shoot. They're Engine firing spot. torpedoes. Let's avoid the torpedoes. Oh, I'm going to hit one, aren't I? Ugh. Enemy ship sighted. Detonated. Kick his ass, you bass. Thanks for bringing us more loot. Ah. We're going to take all your transports. And it won't see how your ship fight, you mean. No, this ki kill this guy. You what are you doing? Ships, green skin. Kill this guy. Prepare to meet your end. I've heard that before from you, Yumi's. Okay, boys, time to crack these weedy Imperial kids. Now bring me your dead chief. Go get him. Okay. Enemy Fire. ship sighted! Good, good, good. At your command. Engines to maximum! Come on. At your command. Yes, Admiral. Engaging. Ah, uh, engage close. Your orders. You guys too, engage close. Oh, you guys already set to that. Yes, At least they got a little bit of guns. Cruising speed set. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Oh no, he boosted! You saw that, right? After him, after him, after him! Cruising speed set. Oh, one's down. Okay, take out the big guy. Take out the big guy! Ah, oh, no, the shield's gotta be down before we can do that. Orders. Took him up. Yep. Boarding parties. Oh! Where did he go? Where did he go? Ship ready. Your orders. Get over there. For the Emperor. Okay, his ass. Did the... Did he just leave? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're, they got a list of their ships over here. He just ran. Awaiting orders. Yeah, um, target lock that asshole, and, uh, get your ass over there. Cruising speed set. Okay, you guys need to get over there, too. Understood. Cruising speed Okay, so... That guy's really hurt. Get over there. Course plotted. Get over there. Engines to maximum. Who's that ship? Target locked in. Get him. Yes, Admiral. I don't know if torpedoes can cause friendly fire or not, so I'm afraid to use them this close. You know? I guess that's the one drawback of them, I guess? I don't know. All our ships are in range now. He ain't gonna be able to hurt that guy anymore. There you go. Oh! Oh, he just knocked that guy. You saw I don't that? Don't see any more enemy ships. I think you got them all. Woohoo! Continue your course Dude, through the tough. system to Bladen. We've already spent too much time dealing with these bestial Xenos. Well, we won. We destroyed three of their ships and one got away. Okay. Oh, and uh, our dauntless. The uh, Chosen of Perseverance leveled up, but the price of Perseverance 
What? One's the chosen, one's the price. So you're chosen, your price. Okay. Cool. Let's get our end briefing. The oh, supply convoy reached Bladen just in time. The planet is thriving. And they once really more, needed those supplies. They seem to have prevented a disaster of immense proportions. In fact, several militia units of volunteers have formed on Bladen to serve the Imperium. Sweet. Lord Admiral, what about the heretics? The planetary defense forces have completely wiped out any heresy. Thanks to your help. Get some Inquisitors over there, just be sure. Admiral Spire. Blackstone Fortress. Maybe that's what that one thing that we saw was. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to call it here. I know this is a little bit longer episode than normal. But uh, thanks again for watching. Um, if you like what you've seen, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll see you next time as we do more fleet actions. And hopefully we'll fight something other than pirate orcs. Although they are pretty fucking hilarious. So I'll see you all next time. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.